In a, a couple of videos back, I showed you how to wrap a column. But sometimes, uh, to make a balance in the room, you want to make a, a fake column up against the wall. And I'm going to show you how I do it. Now this is an example of what I was referring to as uh, a fake column that just to make a balance in a room. And I make it very similar to the way that I trim out a 4x4 column. I'll start with scrap wood and I'll just nail it straight to the wall. Okay, Make sure there's no wires or anything or plumbing that is going to cause you some trouble. And then I'll give it some depth and I'll attach another 2x4 to that. And that gives me the upper part of the column. And then, again, just like the bottom one, that's, in essence, my 4x4 four four post. I'll wrap it in 2x6s, whatever I need to make it filled out. Once I have that, it's really up to you. Uh, keeping in the theme with the, the video prior to this, this is the exterior plywood, T111. And I just uh, cut it right down the center so that the groove would be in the middle, just for a little little detail. Okay. To get this detail here in the center panel, I simply use T111, that's that uh, exterior plywood. And I made certain that my groove would be in the middle of it. And I either cut it on a table saw or a skill saw, with a skill saw. And this little trim detail right here is what they call cap molding. And I get that from Home Depot or Lowe's. Very inexpensive. This little piece of trim detail on the bottom is simply, again, a scrap piece of 2x6 that I put a bevel cut on my table saw. Let's see. The last little bit of trim is to save some money I don't use solid wood I use plywood three-quarter inch and I rip it to whatever width I need it to look look balanced and to follow the theme throughout a room and lastly I put some small crown molding to just give it a balanced balanced look in the room I hope this helps you I'll catch you on the next one